to GMHBA Stadium now where Fremantle claimed its biggest win in the Justin Longmuir era. They were 23 points up at the five-minute mark of the, f of the final term. They were major battle, though, in this last quarter. Win of the year. An unbelievable win. So this is the win of the year. Hardly anyone goes to Geelong and wins, not least Fremantle. I think it was 2015 in a final was their mm. last win there. And with the players that they had out, I mean, we can talk about Fife and Darcy and Tabernet, probably three of their most important five, I reckon. But then you can add Young and you can add Chapman. To, so to go and do that and keep a Geelong side to 66 points, a side that's got Hawkins and Cameron in it, when they had 54 entries, was unbelievable. So uh, their team defence is very Melbourne-esque. The way that, yes, their defenders, and we spoke about them having one of the best back sixes in the mm. game last week, but it's their full ground defence, yep. they are ferocious and they are so well organised. I reckon they've done a lot of study on what Melbourne have done because they were impenetrable at times today. That Mark Blitzar's goal brought the Geelong within three points with just a few seconds to go. I want to take your attention to this stoppage. That's their scores. I mean, that's how hard they've been to score this year. They're just impossible to score against. They're averaging 59 points against Riley and, uh, as I said, to keep Geelong to 66 when they average 87 points at GMHBA Stadium. So, so no one other than Melbourne is doing that. Now, can we, Fremantle win the Premiership? Absolutely, mm. if, they keep, if they keep that up and they get five back and they play him forward and Tabernet comes back. So that is what Premierships are built on. They're going to play a lot of games at home where they'll be really difficult to, to beat. So that is the measures of a Premiership team. So if they're going to be right around the mark. I needed to see them beat someone significant. That happened today. This was the stoppage I was just talking about. So within three points, a matter of seconds to go in the game. It's a crucial occasion. You can see here, Geelong have three players yeah. fall to the ball. If this ball gets out, David Mundy ends up winning the clearance, but if this ball gets out, the Cats are away. Yeah, smart from Geelong. They're, they're trusting one to win it inside and then they'll have they'll own the outside. Now, Fremantle would have a spare behind the ball. We don't have access to that. They'd be thinking, well... We'll back our guys inside. We've been so strong all day inside. And even if they win it, it'll be a quick kick under pressure and we'll have the spare behind the ball. But that's the role of the dice and Fremantle on the right end of that dice today.